All right, hello everyone, and welcome back for uh, another um, weekly reaction video. I'm Rose One One, and today I'm going to be doing, I'm going to react to a few videos that you guys requested. So um, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if I have been inactive for a long time. It's because uh, I've been trying to recollect my thoughts about all of this, and yeah. But yeah, guys, I am back, and I was supposed to record this yesterday, but. Yeah, for some reason, I actually felt sleepy, and uh, yeah, let's just say I uh, fell asleep on the job. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, before I ramble any further, let's uh, watch the first one, sh the first video, shall we? So the first video was requested by Mark Lohawirot. So, um, yeah, guys. Hmm. Alright. So, yeah. Let's uh, watch the video together, shall we? It's a short one. So, yeah. Let's um, watch it together, shall we? Okay. Alright. Take it away, computer. Okay, this is Timmy Village. Timmy! Yeah? Timmy! Yep, it is my friend Timmy. Speaking of which, I never interacted with I, I've never interacted with all the other Temmies. Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only Temmie that <laughs> that's the only Temmie that actually has a different name. Okay, I might want to go back to I might want to record Undertale again and uh, interact with all the other Temmies before moving gen to a genocide mode. <laughs> and speaking of Undertale, I was thinking of doing an 800 subscriber special of um, showing you guys all of Undertale's secrets. So um, yeah, comment down below if I should do it or not. Um, so um, yeah, okay, all right, next one. The next one was uh, requested by Nathaniel Diaz. Okay, original looks by Area R. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, watch the video together, shall we? Take away, computer. What's happening now? Wait, is it is it the same person who made the Kara theme song? Because this art kind of feels like it. Hmm. I had lost. Someone I still love a lot In yourself I have found Something I wanted around With no I've 
feel real happiness and I don't want to let go I'm sorry Please just forget about me I didn't last to have met someone I call a true friend Yep, the song. The song brings feelings, the nostalgia back after I defeated Ezreal, the god of hyperdeath. During the true pacifist route, if you guys don't know. You guys can check it out on my channel. It's a... Uh, yeah. It's kind of sad though that um, as we actually revert it back to Flowey. Ah, oh, the feels. Oh, if only Azrael permanently became himself and not be turned to Flowey after he lost all the souls that he had. All human and monster souls. Wait, that was it? Okay. That was it, apparently. Alright. There you are, you just earned yourself a subscriber. Okay. Yeah. On to the next one. Okay, so the next one was uh, actually requested by, once again, Archihitch SMT5. And he apologizes for uh, sending too, if we request too much. He'll try to keep it down to two videos next time. But it's short, so it should be fine. Well, he's right by the most part. It's actually under eight minutes. That I can do. So, um, yeah. Let's, um, yeah. Actually, let me test this out first. Okay, it works. Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Watch the view together, shall we? Take away, computer. Can this game be so Wait, is Gaston going to be, be the final boss of Genocide Row? No, that I didn't know. Um, yes, I guess that's it. Don't kill Gaster. I swear to God, if Kara kills Gaster in this clip, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Oh my goodness, that's a mega giant, giant Gaster Blaster. And we have almost 4 minutes left. 
Oh, no wonder she, um, she doesn't understand because he's talking to in wingdings. <laughs> hey, I do not understand your language. What's the meaning? Oh, I'm not sure what you're doing. Oh, God, to censor the video. Good. You can use English from the beginning? Oh, my goodness. Oh god, really? <laughs> Broken English, Gaster. Broken English. <laughs> what? Your mom is so sorry. Um, I think Sen's dead. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, are you crying? Obviously. Huh? What the? Hey, 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 hey. You killed uh oh, come on yeah, everyone, okay? So I kill you. Fight fight! Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yes, understand. Go go fight! Yes, that's right. Good 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 game. Yes, what the heck fight, am I reading? Hey. Central you have death. cheat, right? What? No, I'm clear. Then why is this? What the sh what the f stop it? Die move it, die what? <laughs> you can't uh, move during Oh I actually you have to move when you're orange attack. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's total genius! Speaking of which, imagine if that happened in Undertale. I would be screwed up, oh my gosh. Gaster vs. Kara, oh my gosh. Alright, next video. The Gaster Parable, part 1. Alright. <laughs> okay. Take it away, computer. <laughs> This is a story about a man named Gaster. He was a royal scientist and Gaster, worked in a lab where she was employee number 666. Employee number 666's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 666 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. This is what employee number 666 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it so rending, Gaston himself also thought of the same thing. Oh my but god, really? Employee is that Gaster were so relish with the moments of this job, as if they were made exactly for this specific thing. One day, something peculiar happened. Something that will completely change Gaster's life. Something that he will never forget. What? What are they talking about? And everything went black. When he found his senses, he was left alone in a whole grey room. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Gaster decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed the memo. Oh god, really? More when censoring for me! A set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Gaston knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh. <laughs> oh ah, yes. Truly a room worse yes, than breaking the fourth it wall already. Really the detour, Who am I kidding? Undertale breaks the fourth wall a lot. Immaculate, beautifully constructed room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. 
No, you did dig at me. You probably don't know what the villain is sitting on a chair at the hot day's work. Oh my god, really? But eventually, he got tired of this astonishing room and went into the first left door he saw so that he could get back to his work. No, 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 no! This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Gaster, close your eyes. Alright, alright, alright. We just need to go back and... Um... Oh... Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story got not usable. How about, rather than wasting my time trying to solve this nonsense, we just restart the game from the beginning, and this time, we don't wander off so far off the track. What the heck? Okay, from the top! What? What do you mean we begin from the first... Resetting? I knew it's resetting. What could it mean? <laughs> oh my god! Perhaps he had simply missed the memo. Really, I just stand through this video a lot. Wait, what is this? No, I. It's a good I thing restarted he, 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 the game. He didn't I swear to God, I reset the game. Everything's supposed to be. Or maybe something changed. Gaster, have you done anything in particular when we're in the monitoring room? Have you moved the story to somewhere Damn. else or? Point. Wait. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote down this story here. I'm pretty sure it's really you just a you're second. breaking the fourth wall. It has to be around here. All right, to adventure then. Let's go, so indulge, are you kidding me? Can we just go back to the passion lounge, Wingdy? Let's go, Gaster, let's find our story. Oh, oh my god. To be frank with you, this is the most terrible adventure I've ever experienced. I assure you, there was a story. Oh my god, it's so complicated. It's as complicated as a spaceship. And that's the time I entered from one punch. Well, although I don't doing that will put us in any better place, but it's better than nothing. It's so complicated. All right, let's give it a go. What is this place? Oh, you cut them reset. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Gaster Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Onward, Gaster, to our <laughs> destiny! Oh no! God. Okay. Well, that was weird. To say the least. Okay. All right, next one. Let's watch it together, shall we? It's seven minutes long, so I had to make this quick. Take it away, computer. Oh, suicide? Oh, yes, sir. What are you doing? It'll be more advantageous for you if you just follow the line rather than thrusting that heinous weapon. Did he actually shoot himself? All of the researchers know <laughs> what could have happened. Really? Death regents be here? Oh no, censoring it! two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stepping into his manager's office, Gasta was Wait, once again stunned to discover that there was no indication of any human life. Exactly! What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned an extra secret PIN number, 6974. You just told him the PIN course, number. <laughs> Master couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Gaster happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. <laughs> Gaster walked straight ahead through the last door that read Mind Control Facility. What? This wasn't here in Undertale before? The light rose on an enormous room packed with television this screens. Room? What horrible secret did this place hold? Gaster thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Eh? 
Each board the number of an employee in the building, guests as co-workers, the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and guests are one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Ah, no. Tom did not mean to be a student. No need to say good magic on the Monday. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Gas already been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unsinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. You were supposed to let. Oh my god. Oh, Gaster. You didn't just activate these controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself? Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Gaster. Really? <sighs> I applaud your effort. I really do. But you need to understand, there is only so much that machine can do. Oh god, more censoring for me. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. <laughs> really? Gaster suddenly realized that he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this what? machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. What? The sound destruct sequence? How long until the detonate? Wait. Gaster? Gaster? What are you doing? <laughs> Did he literally shoot himself again? All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, Gaster, what are you up to? Don't you wish to look for your co-workers who vanished without any trace? Oh my god. Gaster? Gaster? You oh, are supposed come to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. This if video you want has to lot of my story off track, lot of you're going swear to have to do much it. better than that. Arcade SMT5, why do you do this to me? Is it because I actually got your name wrong in the last mm. video? All right. Is this revenge for that? If so, then I really apologize. In any ways, whether you brought the DNA identification or not, my story should flow my way in any ways possible. Ne? I mentioned what? about the DNA identification for just talks. I didn't even select whether they should explode in two or three minutes. But you really brought it here. I give you my applaud of compliment for your heck? exalt. But my story will go on. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, sorry, Gaster. Do you really think you can mess my story that easily? Well, it won't be. I assume it would take about 400 million light here for it to resolve. Well, in that case, I'll play some piece for music. What? <laughs> oh no. Really, Gaster? Oh, you're thinking I guess about there's that. no point in hiding anymore. I deleted all your co workers, so even though you control the facility, you won't have any workmates to mind control. Of course, that's a mere source solely applied for this plot. Sometimes I let you work in your office what? till you die alone, lonely, forever. Yet again, I applaud for really? your amazing figure of speech. <laughs> oh my god.
<laughs> really? All of his co-workers. What do you get? What could it mean? Ah, I'm not stepping out of here. Hmm. Do you not wish to know of the whereabouts of your colleagues? How cold of you not to use the god's special gift, curiosity, on such occasions? Really? Oh my gosh. Alright, so yeah, that was a video. Oh my god, really guys? You had to you had to request a video that had a lot of swear words in it, okay, change to SMT5. Okay, so yeah, let's see, I'm recording, yes, I'm recording. Okay, the next one is requested by Enguyen Taihui. So yeah, you want me to react to Danganronpa in a nutshell. Now, I, I've been planning to watch Danganronpa, but I, I don't know if I should just watch it normally, or if I should just do a reaction video from it, of it. Uh, comment down below if I should do a reaction video of it. And uh, yeah. And he's and he told me to uh, make sure to put a warning um, because there's some harsh languages, but not that much. But yeah, I think I'm gonna censor that one. I don't know. It it depends. So yeah, let's um let's see yeah, let's uh watch it together, shall we? Take it away, computer. Animated by Wrong Wrong, the person who animated um Harvest Moon in a nutshell. The original length was three minutes. So long as it's just quite whole animation. I I didn't get to um to all that. This one is making some minor spoilers. Try it. All right. That's the bear from the show Danganronpa. <laughs> really, you're skipping? <laughs> Why is he speaking in Chinese? <laughs> really? First, let's discuss about the victim. Jason, the ultimate high school animator. According to the Monokuma file, he was murdered in a second floor male public bathroom. The cause of death what? was blunt force trauma to the head. Uh, sorry for interrupting, but what's that pink stuff <laughs> It's did? blood? That's blood. It's recolored to preserve the rating of the game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, the time of death was around 10 p.m. yesterday. We found the body at 7 a.m. this morning. Oh, you did a body Static autopsy in order to find out scene. when the body uh, activate rigor mortis. Okay, that's cool. Oh, Who the heck is that? Yes, the murder weapon is missing. Really, guys? I thought it was pretty obvious. Nope. Seriously? Wait a minute. Make your argument. Bloody hammer. What the freak? You're talking about food? Why is he speaking in Korean? That's a heavy Why are the words flying all over the screen? <laughs> I feel like in the fourth wall. Anyway, what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? It's a mystery. The murder weapon is missing. Okay. Oh god, really? I just censored a background now. What are you guys, f idiots? Oh god. Did you just shoot me? Were you listening? We found a bloody hammer near the crime scene. I know it's part of the trial procedure, but really? What the hell is wrong with you people? Why does the first debate of every trial have to be something so painfully obvious? Suzuki? <laughs> really, now, Suzuki? Let's discuss about how the murder occurred. One thing for sure. The murder took place in the male public bathroom. So, we can safely assume that the culprit is a male. Oh, the anime man, Joey! So, are you implying that it's impossible for the culprit to be a female? Let me remind you, the murder took place in a public bathroom. Even yeah. if it's a male bathroom, a female could still enter it with ease to commit a crime. Okay, you, you but it'll show them. What a kind of mini game is this? Hey, at least let me finish my sentence. 
Oh god, I just censored again! Remember what Monokuma said? In order Monica to access the bathroom, bathroom, we need to scan our ID card. Oh, you have ID cards. What is your point? To get into the male bathroom, you need an ID card belonging to a male student. Likewise, but that doesn't mean that a female can take a male student ID card and just use it. any of the female students to enter that bathroom and commit a murder. Unless they uh, borrow one of the, you know... Okay. The ID cards from a male, and maybe that That's makes sense. A toolkit was given to everyone by Monokuma during our first day at school. Oh, toolkit? I think the hammer's part of our toolkit. Oh, so the missing ha the yes, hammer from the missing tool is our from a person missing toolkit means that that person fact, is the victim. I'd like everyone to check their toolkits right now. Yep, exactly. Okay. Joey, it's your turn. Uh, why are you sweating, Joey? Suzuki? <laughs> really? Suzuki again? I... Uh... Lost my toolkit. Oh my god, Joey, this is not the time. This is not the time. Endless debate. What? I... Lost my toolkit. That's not a good excuse. Uh, I am being serious here, guys. Are you serious? Really? Why am I speaking in English? <laughs> really? Did you lose your toolkit? Yeah, how did you lose your toolkit? Did you lose the toolkit after using it? Oh, that is a number one question. <laughs> Consent. Break. You used the hammer in your toolkit to murder Jason, didn't you? Okay, no. now let's jump to I, conclusions here, toolkit. Mr. Um, who, who is it again? No, I'm not the killer! If you think I'm the killer, then show me some proof that I was at the scene of the crime! Yeah. Also, Joey looks different. Like, what happened to his cat mask that he usually wears? Joey? Mask. You are the killer, right? Uh, let's not jump like to I conclusions said, here. I'm not the killer! You can't prove anything without evidence! So Oh god, it's censored again! While investigating, I found this mask near the That's crime Joey's scene. mask! The cat mask! The anime man's mask! Remember. There's a huge air vent in the bathroom. An air vent? Oh... Wait, then you can actually, uh... Yeah. Joey, this mask belongs to you, right? It's kinda Sweet. weird. You were wearing the mask all this time before the murder occurred. After the body discovery announcement was made, you were no longer wearing it. So, why was your mask okay, now that, that is suspicious. air vent? Care to explain? There is only one okay. logical explanation. Joey was present when the murder took place. He's the murderer. But you shouldn't jump to conclusions. This is like Minecraft Story Mode Episode 6 all over again. And yeah, guys, I know Minecraft Story Mode. I just, I just didn't want to record it because I, I don't have the game. Why are you laughing? Okay, hang on a minute. Why are you laughing, Joey? Did you actually kill someone? I thought YouTuber would never do that. Why does he have spirally eyes? Do you go mental? Oh my god! This is just part of the trial procedures. Suzuki. Really, Suzuki again? Looks like there's no use in hiding it any longer. Did you really kill yes, someone, Joey? I was in the bathroom. However, I'm not the killer. If you're not the murderer, just like Dan pu pushed Sparkles, activated there? Sparkles' trap, and he's not I the white pumpkin. Okay, guys, he's in the clear. He's not the killer. Wait, what? Really? Objection! How did you? How do you conclude that so quickly? What the hell? We were ganging up on him a while ago, and suddenly he's innocent. Yeah, that's exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know, it, I know that she is. Um, he, um, yeah. Maybe my man might be innocent. We but shouldn't let him off the hook. We should so put him under suspicion. Oh my God! Another censor. Joey is the first suspect of this trial and a seemingly obvious culprit. So going by that logic, he's not the culprit. Confused? Let's take a look at the initial suspects of the class trials from both games. Really? You were breaking first, the fourth they were wall. as the first suspects with ample evidence pointing back at them. But in the end, it was just a ruse made by the true culprit to frame them 
or just to fuck around. Oh my god, That's censoring Joey again! Is obviously not the culprit. It's just part of the trial procedures. What is this trial procedure that you keep talking about? Yeah. Okay, okay, calm down, everyone. I'm sure Joey had a valid reason for being there. Thank you, Nagy. I shall explain. Oh, his name is Nagy. Like everyone else, I was trying to find a way out of the school, and I saw a large in the vent at the hallway near the trash room. I managed to pry it open with the screwdriver from the toolkit. Okay. It took me some time before I got to the end of the air duct and ended up in that bathroom. Then... Then what? Wait, what? I didn't want to get myself into any trouble or break the school rules, so I turned around and rushed back. It was probably during that time when I dropped my mask while hurrying away. When I got back, my toolkit was nowhere to be found. Oh, so the killer took so, your culprit. So, as previously stated, to I your was concealing toolkit. this oh, my because God. I'm afraid of the punishment awaiting me for breaking the school rules. <laughs> Vandalism and act of pervers perversion. <laughs> perversion? That means you were looking at a girl. That means my, my thoughts are correct. A girl could have took took could have took one of the. Joey, are you certain that you ID. saw a girl back there? Do you yeah, remember I who she it. was? 100% positive, though it was just too foggy to make out who it was. Yep, she it was, was in too the midst foggy as well. It, it was, it was, face, it was so um, foggy enough that it face. censored her genitals. If that makes sense. Holy sh! Oh my god, censoring again! Make an accusation. What the heck? Bjorn Maxwell? Bjorn Maxwell! You're the killer! What the heck? Trial. Suspend. My bad theater. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Really? Trial. Resume. The killer. According to the trial procedures, you fit the description, and you haven't spoken a word since the beginning of the trial. So clearly, you are the culprit. What bullshit is that? Oh my what god, more censoring! About? You skipped the Monokuma Theater segment, didn't you? Just cut the crap about the trial procedures and focus on the class trial. Have you forgotten what you've said earlier? Only male students can enter that bathroom, so Joey's testimony is bogus. How can you just believe him without a second thought? No, his testimony is legit. You could be in that bathroom too. There's one more thing from the trial procedures. F*** your trial procedures! Oh my god! You have an identity crisis, right? Huh? Identity crisis? In fact, you everyone mean... in this room has some sort of an identity crisis. You mean that... And if I'm not mistaken... He's actually... Um... You're biologically male, aren't you? That's how you got into the guy's bathroom. Okay, now this just got awkward real fast. Manic Queen talk battle. Voice that change. Judging by that voice, I can tell you're definitely a man. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! No! Oh my gosh! This is too much censoring for me. I might just have to put a warning in the video instead. <laughs> あの、その話を外す時にどんな道具を使ったのかな。お前は何やってるんだよ。この言葉系浮かされ。もし僕の考えがあってるなら、その後の。Really? Oh my god.
よろいにキャッチファイスやっぱり。Yeah, there is one way to prove that you're either a boy or a girl. If there's a bulge in your、um, underpants. <laughs> At approximately 9 p.m., Jason went into the male bathroom. Meanwhile, Joey found the air vent the same time Jason was in the bathroom. After Joey went in, the culprit, who happened to pass by, found Joey's abandoned toolkit. They took the toolkit with good intentions, with the possibility of wanting to return it. Before they did that, however, they decided to go to the bathroom.、Mm -hmm. Little did they know, Jason was in the bathroom. At this point, it's unclear as to what happened. But one thing's for sure. It didn't go well. The killer thought of a perfect plan and grabbed the hammer from Joey's toolkit. Oh. Smash the head. Yep. Fortunately for the killer, the bathroom is the easiest place to get rid of any blood evidence and traces of murder. At this very moment, Joey navigated his way to the bathroom through the air ducts. Due to the position of the air vent, Joey couldn't see Jason's body, but instead he witnessed an important clue about the culprit their gender. Okay. Okay, so it confirms it. The person is、um, something natural. Oh, f i o r and Maxwell, okay. Vote. What the heck? It's like a slime machine! Trial end. Oh no, not again! Wait, how did you know that the killer was f i o r and Maxwell all along? That means you could have solved the case for your, by yourself, but instead, you chose a few teenagers to do the work for you. This is found guilty. Commencing. Oh, execution, I forgot. If you kill someone, you get executed. Yep. Oops. So, what kind of execution is it this time? Dude, there's, a lot of type, there's a lot of types of ex execution. I don't think. How many of those things are there? I thought there was only one. What? Oh, pulled to death. Oh, stretched to death. That is definitely not the way to go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ouch, pulled to death is definitely not the way to go. How does that make sense? Okay, my battery's running low. Okay, I definitely, definitely need to charge right now. So that was Danganronpa, guys. Oh my goodness. I might want to react to that. There's, a, there's actually an anime series about that, but. Wait, they could. Wait, wait wrong one made Undertale animation as well? Now that I didn't know. Okay, now that I didn't know. Alright, Angry and Tai Hui, why did you do this to me? I have to censor the video. I have to either censor the video or put a warning in the video and just leave it like that. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. The next one is requested by Fanny Palaxi. So, um, yeah. He requested、um, Underswap comic dub. Alright, so yeah, I'm, in I'm interested to see what happens next. Let's watch it together, shall we? It's 52 seconds. Oh my god, that's so. Oh my god, that was. That's fast. Okay, let's watch it together, shall we?
uh yeah before that i want to test something can i hear okay it works okay i have to test it out otherwise i might just look like a fool all right let's watch it together shall we take it away computer <laughs> no snowden song Sans? yes brother if we get this done early maybe i could have the time to bring you some of those hot dogs muffet makes specifically for you okay i'll just put the bucket in my room then i'm coming back what bucket? Sometimes I wish you simply didn't have to go to work. It would be nice to spend more time- <laughs> What happened? Ow, oh, that hurts. Oh no! Oh crud! <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Oh my god! Hopefully Papyrus forgives him. Hey, what? What the heck? Is that an amalgamate? Endogeny? What the heck? What the heck was that? Oh my gosh! What was that? Okay... Alright... Okay, so... The next one... Let's uh... Watch together, shall we? Disasting. Alright, take it away, computer. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, how did you. Don't worry, pal. Uh, I mean, no Who harm. are you? Are you a I'm different dead. sand? <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. I get too excited. To oh my god. <laughs> what kind of paint was it for this to be possible? Anyway. And it's a mess now. Ah, that can be fixed. You just really? need to know some useful tricks. Whoa, this is pretty useful, actually. Yep. Hey, wait. Stand up for a sec, will ya? Um. You're both the same? You. Holy shoot, you're smaller than me! <laughs> really? You look could be the smallest one of them all. I've waited for this moment for decades. The creator has spoken. <laughs> really? Do I applaud? Sorry, Mister. I still don't know who you are. <laughs> Is he the oh, Sans from right. another universe? <laughs> Just like the well, Sans from. It's a bit complicated. Uh, Undertale. Ink, at least. That should story be the shift. Start. And from. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's just getting weirder. <laughs> really? Uh, okay then. Uh, what kind of monster are you to be able to get out of paint like that? <laughs> well, it's gonna be pretty long. Do you got some free time to let me ramble, pal? Oh, I love stories! Ten minutes later. And now, I'm trying to join the Royal Guard and have Alfie's as my captain. That's some neat plans you have, bud. I'm sure you'll do great. Also, neat drawing. Who's that other guy, though? Oh, that's my brother. I think you left to buy something earlier, since, you know, we're redecorating the house. How's he like? Oh, he's super tall, he's very lazy and sleepy all the time, but he's really kind, he's always there to help. That's... nice. Let me guess, Isn't he's it? gonna be mad? Uh. Huh? Oh, brother! Here, let me introduce- <laughs> Pop! What the- What- what was that? Okay, what the heck was that about? Why did Papyrus attack out of term? Now that I don't know. Alright, next one. <coughs> Sand secret. Let's watch it together, shall we? Take it away, computer. So, you finally made- Hey, legendary fart master! Excuse me? Explain <laughs> this! Hmm. <sighs> what? So I see you figured out the truth. Oh, indeed I have, Sans. Or should I say, <laughs> Ness? It all makes sense. The phase distorter in your lab. Who's Ness? The courage badge. Buddy. And even the silly hand. Kid. I'm just some sh Earthbound fan. Oh my god, I just censored a video. Also, what is Earthbound? Is that another game that that Toby Fox made just like some 
uh, um, Scott Cawthon made a game, for, uh, a farming simulator game. Before he made Finance at Freddy's. I don't know. Anyways, let's uh, watch the next one, shall we? The next one was requested by uh, Kitty Face Jack. So, um, yeah. Alright, let's uh, watch together, shall we? <laughs> this is by Groundbreaking as well. The person who I borrowed the song to make the outro for. Okay, let's watch it together, shall we? Take... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Take away, computer. Groundbreaking presents. <laughs> Bolt Papyrus. We did the Bolt Stands reaction, if you guys didn't know. You can check it out um, in my reaction video um, playlist. Link is in the description down below. Why is Papyrus standing like that? It's kind of creeping me out, to be honest. If he turns at me, I'm going to be so creeped out. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I like your song. Groundbreaking. You've done a good Don't job. Me. I'm a genius. I'll charge my special attack. Elaborate puzzles and termination. There's no way you'll ever get that. This is a cooler version of Bone Trozel. Papyrus' theme song. and then talking about genocide the this song is so good Oh, that's it? Oh my god, I was expecting more! Okay, I didn't mean to pause there. Last video. Okay. That was great. That was great. Okay. So, um, yeah. Well, Pirates Undertale song. That might be my that might be my intro, but I already said it with Bad Apple, and I haven't even started editing the video to make it my intro yet. So yeah, I don't know what <laughs> which one to pick. Okay, I'll just uh, find out later on. But yeah, 
so the next one was uh, requested by Imitator Gisama. So yeah, he wanted me to do Undertale AMV photograph. Okay, so let's uh, watch together, shall we? We only have like about uh, 25 minutes left until I actually have to end the recording. So yeah, let's watch it together. Take it away, computer. Actually, wait a minute. Am I, am I recording? Oh god. It's a good thing I checked. All right, let's, okay, now for real. Let's watch it together, shall we? Take it away, computer. Is that Toriel? Yeah, but I knew it's Toriel. This animation is is actually cool. Oh, there's sense. Oh, there's doggo. Don't move. Lesser dog. Oh, dog. Dogumi and Dogoressa and greater dog. I still remember their names because they're the, the hardest ones I had to go through. Oh, uh, and that's Grillby. And there's a scene where, we're, where we actually dumped a lot of ketchup on our burger. Or fries, depending on what, what, what you guys chose. Oh, a talking flower. Oh, onion sand. Oh, the umbrella. I remember this scene. Must we? Oh, God. Nesta Blue. Uh, I think I remember doing that with Nesta Blue. Wait, I don't remember that. What? Oh, yeah. Yep, the cooking of Undyne. <laughs> the ghetto chef. Oh, it's the true lab. Oh, you have the date. Yep, Death by Glamour. Oh, and yet he deactivated. Oh, there's Gaster! Muffet? <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of character. R River person? Asgore? Omega Flowey, oh my god, that still gives me the chills. Oh, oh yep, Asriel got a hyper death. Okay, that's a true pacifist. But what happens next? Oh, flashback. Oh, genocidal, oh no. Oh god, Sans is gonna kill you for sure. <laughs> yep, I knew it. Yep, Gas of Blaster, you're done. Oh god. Wait, what happened? Sorry for bad art. What do you mean it was bad art? That was good art. 
Heck, I, I don't know if I can make as art as good as that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm actually trying... I actually photoshopped a lot of things before and yeah, trying to make animations and all, but yeah, seriously, how do you call that bad art? That's actually very good. Also, uh, yeah, even though the animation isn't pretty smooth, but it, it's, it's still good. Yeah, don't doubt yourself. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that one really <laughs> was really, really awesome. Okay, the next one um, was requested by Asriel. Literally, Asriel. Okay, so let's uh, watch it together, shall we? It says Papyrus no longer believes in you. So what happens now? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see, am I recording? Yes. Okay. Let's watch it together, shall we? It's three minutes long, so I, I might be able to do this. Alright. Take it away, computer. <laughs> Human. I once called you more than that, didn't I? Is that, is that Kara? Even with all the fear I had about you. What is it around him? To cast it aside. Is, to is that a jacket? You, to support you. To call you my... Friend. But now... Now... What is this feeling? <laughs> I know what this feeling is. It's... Hatred! For the person who came so far just to destroy an old friend. This eye of mine, it only activates when such terrible feelings exist. And with it, I can see everything you've hidden from me before. Everything you've done, and everything you intend to do! Oh. Sans once told me that the moment he stopped caring would be the moment everything started to fall apart. At first, I thought he was talking about our relationship, and so I tried to make sure he always had a reason to care about me. Yep. But unfortunately... Now I understand. Oh, Sans! Oh, this is like when Sans die, Pyrus takes his place. It's a funny thing, isn't it? The more you want to hurt someone, the easier it is to make them stop living. But no matter how hard you want to love someone, you can't bring them back from the dead! Yep, that is un Sans unfortunate. Sans is gone because he stopped caring, but I refuse to do the same. I care about so many things. I care about myself. I care about this world. I care about everyone you took from me. But the one thing, the only thing, I no longer care about is you! Oh, crud. I'm not going to give you a bad time. Wait, Someone no? like you, who has taken so much, does not deserve to be given anything! Instead, someone like you deserves an equal. What are you talking someone about? Someone who wants to protect with every ounce of the same determination you use to destroy. Oh my god, it's a mix. So it's This is Gaster's theme song. You are not going to have a bad time. Wait, if I just get someone fireballs? I'm going to have lots of fun! <laughs> Oh my god, insta- insta death! Oh my gosh! Oh, that papyrus! Yeah, I've reacted to that before. Disbelief papyrus, I believe is, is the name. Oh my gosh! Okay, what the heck? Wow, San, uh, Papyrus might be even more terrifying than Sans if he, his innocence is, has been drained. <laughs> now that is terrifying, to say the least. Okay, next one was uh, requested by William Zook. Alright, so um, yeah, let's uh, watch the video together, shall we? I only have five minutes left. Take away, computer. Explosion and sound effects by Emila. Animation and art by Kuacha Zero. 
check out the channel, click here. Wait, I've read to this before. Let me see. Is it the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. So, how the heck? Okay, hang on a minute. Give me a second. This is literally the same animation that I just watched just now. Or is it different? Do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Yep, butterscotch pie. I, I wanna go home. Dog, Dogumin, Dogaresa, and <laughs> Greater Dog. You have the date and Grillbees, the eating scene, the catch up scene. Talking flowers. Onion sand. <laughs> Monster kid. Without the song. Let's see, uh, yeah, not it. Sands gets angry. This is why I never make promises. Well, I did like the first one, but this one is also pretty decent, but it just doesn't have the song. 
Well, it says uh, Emila Remix. So, um, yeah. Alright, next one. All right, we need to do this quick. Okay, so next one was requested by... Um, okay, let's see. It uh, was requested by... Um, someone... I don't know what I don't know what that language is. I think it might be like a I don't know. I I don't want to say because I don't want to become a racist or anything. But yeah. All right. Let's um Oh, I've already reacted to this one. Okay, let's, let's skip to the next one. Okay, the next one was requested by Michelle Aqua. All right. Let's get into this. 3 uh, almost three minutes. I can do this. All right. Take away a computer. All right. Let's uh, let's see. I'm recording. God damn it. I'm screwing this up right now. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Take away a computer. Sonic versus quote. What the heck? What the heck? in my mouth. You're gonna pay for this. What the heck? Where did Mario come from? Amy? Really, Patrick? Silver? <laughs> Gray from Fairy Tail? Wait, did Fairy Tail have a game? Oh, the cheese dog. Oh my god, there's a lot of cheese dogs. Oh my god, eight times. <laughs> really Luffy's boy. The Mary. Oh, Sanji from One Piece. Okay, that's bad news. If he kicks you, you're done. What the heck? Oh my God, there's a lot of them. Really dancing banana. <laughs> I've got no time to waste on these pests. Yep. What the heck? Where did they come from? Another puzzle solved. What? Who the heck is that? What on earth? Who is that guy? I think I've seen him before. <laughs> is that Stitch? You're too slow. Too slow. Oh god. Who's that? Oh god. That, that was Link in the background. Never underestimate Sonic speed! Yep. I'm done yet. Hi, Wait, is that... Let me be your guy. No! Is that true? I'm not bad. Don't forget that you can use the hit. The mean that I use. What? Oh no. Battle mode? Sonic was a quote. What the heck was that just now? Really? Oh, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow. All four of them went together. Oh, he has all seven chaos on me. We're done for life. All bark and no bite. Yep. We should do this again sometime. <laughs> really? The chipmunk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so yeah, that was it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if I had to do this quick because I really, really had to go somewhere fast. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and um, yeah, this was actually a lot of fun. But yeah, um, yeah, putting that aside, I really have to go um, and uh, yeah, uh, do something first and then go somewhere because um, yeah, you guys, probably don't, you guys probably understand what I mean, right? Anyway guys, that's going to be my favorite for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And um, yeah, as always, stay awesome guys. Peace out. Yo. Is this in the genocide mode? Am I going to fight this? Oh my god. Oh my goodness, that tongue looks so old.